Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's. And uh, I know it's been a long time uh, that I have been away, mm -hmm. almost a month. Uh, but uh, I'm back now and uh, we'll be having these regular sessions of uh, vocabulary and other things. So uh, welcome to session nine of your vocabulary module session nine. And uh, without further ado, let us start off. And so the first word for today is immure. Now immure basically means to, uh, you know, to confine somebody, to keep somebody under wraps. And when you're trying to, you know, keep somebody confined at a place, then you are immuring that person. So like to imprison, to keep them confined, to uh, jail mein dal ke rakhna, so you have immured, immured that person, means you have kept them inside a jail, you have kept them in captivity. So to keep somebody in captivity, to imprison, to confine, to incarcerate, like you incarcerate a criminal, so you put them in jail. So put somebody in jail is incarcerate. And the opposite words will be to liberate, means to free them, to release them, to emancipate. Emancipation is another word for freedom. And this is a very, very common word, especially in politics related articles, you find this word emancipate or women's emancipation and words like that. So basically it means freedom and free, you know. So immune was to confine. The next word is jingoist. Now jingoism uh, as a concept basically means when you are excessively nationalist and very having a high sense of patriotism to the extent that it becomes a little negative in the sense that you start fighting for your country. I mean, fighting in a negative sense, you are ready to kill somebody who speaks anything bad about your country or something. So, you know, uh, becoming a little bit of, uh, you say, like a fanatic. Now, fanaticism is again a negative word in this case. So you become a fanatic, you become uh, too much obsessively focused on your uh, uh, favoritism towards your country. So chauvinism in this sense means excessive domination is chauvinism and nationalist nativist native means belonging to a place. So having these kinds of feelings, it's not always bad, but anything which becomes excessive is actually negative. And jingoism as a topic had come in uh, XLRI, uh, uh, you know, essay writing. So you should be knowing this word. And opposite here, it's written as internationalist meaning uh, when you are more of a, you know, you believe in a free world, you don't believe or having a free mind rather. So that will be the opposite of it. And then the next word is knave. Now knave means an evil or an unprincipled person in the sense that, uh, you know, a malefician person, a negative person and uh, somebody having uh, bad intentions. So as we say, maleficent, malefic will be synonyms of this and other synonyms would be a brute. Brute is, um, you know, a, a person who is uh, ready to uh, hurt somebody, just like an animal, to hound is to follow uh, a villain. Villain, again, you know, in the movies, the bad guys called as the villain. A wretch, wretch, again, a hateful person. And opposite words will be innocent, saint, and hero. And, you know, there's a very similar word called naive. And I have done this word with you in one of the sessions. Now, naive, N-A-I-V-E, naive means a very, very a simple and innocent person. And here, actually, naive becomes uh, very much different. So uh, in this case, naive is almost like you could say the opposite of naive. So N-A-I-V-E, this word means a very innocent person, whereas naive is a very mean or an evil person, a criminal-like person, a negative person. Okay, and then the last word for today is larceny. Now, larceny means, uh, you know, by force taking up somebody's property, also unlawfully, kabza kar lena, you know, staying at somebody's place without paying rent or something. So you usurp. Now, this is a very good word. U-S-U-R-P, you know, so like you take up somebody's throne, you take up somebody's place, just like coup. So that is also, and uh, larceny also means uh, when you are stealing, so theft, robbery, burglary will also be called as part of larceny. And then opposite is restore somebody the thing. So you give them back to compensate, to restore, to atone means to make better something that you have done wrong. So these would be the opposites of it. So if we had to make a story out of these words so that you remember, 
So you could say that the knave, the knave meaning the bad person. Uh, so Mr. X, who was a knave, tried to show that he was a jingoist. And in that he used to commit larceny. But finally, he was immured in the prison for his wrong deeds. So, you know, you could remember these words through the story. So Mr. X, who was an evil person, a knave, uh, tried to show that he was excessively patriotic. And for that, he used to do burglary and other things, larceny. And then he was imprisoned. He was immured in a prison. He was jailed because of his wrongdoings. So you could remember these words through the short story and that makes it uh, interesting also and easy to remember. So this is all from me for today and I'm going to be there uh, very soon with a new video. Make sure that you like and share uh, the videos uh, and you comment. It's always wonderful to get your comments. So that's all for now. Then bye-bye. Uh, Take care, all of you.